Hey everyone, it's Matt here. I just wanted to do a little update on this Egypt Air missing plane, MS-804. It is not, or, uh, 520, 2016. They've been saying today that, uh, this, this plane crash in the sea and stuff, but they keep repeating, oh, ISIS did it. Right away they came out and said, ISIS did it. ISIS did it. And I actually thought that at first early in the morning. But then, you know how they changed their story halfway through the day? They, well, they didn't do that today, and that made me kind of suspicious. So I want to look at some other things here. And this is kind of some of the stuff I found. Okay, this morning I opened up the Bible codes to see if I could even find this incident in the codes. I did find it, and I found some stuff like crash kids, stuff involved. But as the day went on, I kind of got suspicious, and um, um, they were pushing. ISIS did this. ISIS did, did this. And I wondered if they had an uh, alternative agenda. It's like, man, this, this just seems not right. So... I researched it a little more. I probably came up with a conclusion a little too soon. What I found here was in, in the Bible codes, I searched in France Matrix in Genesis, King James Version. Um, I used the access term France and I found Gog, Magog, right down here. Masons are involved. Egypt, that's that's the flight was going to Egypt. Cairo is where it was supposed to land. Um, and Paris is where it took off from. And then I also found, well, phony. And I also found scam. Um, the Saudi, I see, I think they're going to try to push for a war in Syria and Saudi Arabia because they're, they're going to want to have to go after ISIS now that they said they took out this plane, which I believe is a bunch of crap. I think it's all a scam. It is all phony. It is all forged by the Masons. The New World Order. See, if I bet, if I put, I know it's a three-letter word, but put N-W-O in the search term here. I bet. No, nope, it didn't come up. I'm surprised. I mean, this is just so suspicious. Here it also said, blame came up in this matrix. And who they blame? ISIS. Now this is, as far as I can read this, Bible Matrix is telling you it is fake. All fake. I bet you they never find a plane. Because this is all phony fake from start to finish. This is an agenda to start a war with Syria. War also came out here. WW3. You know, all this, the, the plane took off from Paris, landed in Cairo right here, or supposed, was supposed to. It crashed here. This sea is not very deep. They would find parts if there is an actual plane. There was no plane that I can see. None. It's, I mean, the Bible codes, you can't make this stuff up. It didn't, this did not happen, people. This is a start of war right here with Syria. So we can go back in there and destroy Damascus. And, and probably get uh, Russia all riled up. And maybe even go into Saudi Arabia. You know, this, this, is, this is a start of WW3. I just can't believe the deception 
that the New World Order Freemasons are trying to push. They think we're fools and will believe the bullcrap. This is unbelievable. The Rothschild. This is the biggest family behind it all. The Rothschild family. Which is basically hidden from the public. These people own more than half of the assets in the whole world. Right here. The Rothschild family. Then you got the Bush family. You got so many families around the world. You have the w Windsors, you have the Lies, um, there's just a ton of families. If you haven't read the book, The Bloodline of the Illuminati, you should probably read that book. It's a very good book, very informational about these people and what, why they're doing what they're doing for right now. You can even find the 13 Bloodlines of the Illuminati online. Just look it up. There's so much information there. It'll unlock so many things for you. You'll understand so much. And there's other links to the Rockefellers. There's links to the New World Order. Which is part of the CFR. Bilderberg Group. I mean. This, this will get you up to date quick. Just Google 13 Bloodlines of the Illuminati. There's something else I wanted to show you guys the, about the Gog and Magog war here. You know, this is Damascus right there. This is where that plane was supposed to land. And they're going to say that ISIS came from Syria, which is right here. And we're going to go back in there. And we're going to make sure we finish the job with ISIS and Getting a big war with Russia and moving to Saudi Arabia. This is this is the beginning of the end, people. This is the Gog Magog War. We're living in the end days. We'll see the days the days of Noah once again.